Alright guys, it's Westy here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a little bit of an expo guide. So I'm going to be talking about all the uh, weapon damage and the usability on different vehicles and infantry and stuff like that. Uh, I know I'm a little bit late to the game with it, but I've been bringing you a lot of expo related footage and stuff, so I've just been messing around with the expo. And now I feel comfortable after about a week to sort of discuss the actual true values of what damage this weapon can do and how it sort of plays in terms of um, usability and in comparison to a lot of other weapons in the game. So let's start off with the basics. You start off with 10 bolts in the expo, one already loaded and then you've got 9 in your quiver. Let's say quiver because that's kind of what you hold bolts in. And it can uh, be resupplied by an ammo kit just like any other weapon. Um, you can unlock it by winning 3 rounds of scavenger. Uh, that's not particularly difficult to do, you just hop into a server, play 3 games and you unlock it. Um, but while you're playing Scavenger, you can actually pick the weapon up and play with it while you're in that game mode as well. So while you're unlocking it, you get a feel for what you're going to be doing with it. Uh, you can change the bolt type during the game, so you can switch it out using the D-pad on the PlayStation 3. And I'm guessing like uh, V, I think it is, on PC. So when it comes out tomorrow on PC, you'll know how to switch the bolt type. Of course, you have to unlock those first. And um, if you pick up the expo off like uh, a dead body on the ground, then you'll only have access to the bolts that you personally have unlocked. Okay, I'm going to start off with the normal bolt, which is the one you unlock with the crossbow as standard. So, uh, we know that it's one hit kill at all ranges when you get a headshot. So you could be 30 metres away, get a headshot, one hit kill. You could be 120 metres away, headshot is going to be a one hit kill. So that's pretty awesome. Also, it's one hit kill everywhere in close quarters combat, which basically means if you're really close to somebody and you manage to hit fire it and it hits them, you're going to get the kill straight away without question, which I think is really important because it's going to be like a little bit like a shotgun where you run around the corner, you're about three feet from them, if you fire it, you hit them, you're going to get the kill. There's quite a huge amount of drop with this bolt in terms that if you shoot over, let's say, I think 50 meters, I would say there's quite a huge amount of drop that you're going to have to calculate. Uh, there's a couple of shots that you're going to see in the video that I'm putting up here in front of you that you're going to have to be aiming quite far above the head if you want to be doing long range shot. I would say save that for the balance bolt, really. And if you are um, attempting to try and get some long range shots, then you're only going to do around 60% damage to the actual person that you hit. So it's not a huge amount of damage, which means you're going to have to hit at least two bolts into them before you kill them. Which, if you're a good player, is fairly easy, but if they're like ridiculously far away, like 120 meters, then you're going to find you're going to struggle to get a kill with uh, um, with this crossbow. Okay, so obviously the explosive bolt is meant for vehicle combat. So uh, let's talk a little bit about what vehicles you can do, you can hit with it, and uh, what sort of values you're going to get for damage when you hit these vehicles. Okay, so talking about attack and scout helis first of all, uh, one direct hit will get you 91% damage at any point on that vehicle. So uh, you could be at any point across the map, as long as you hit it anywhere with that bolt, you're going to get 91% damage, which is going to instantly disable the vehicle, which means um, you're going to hit it with the C4 uh, crossbow, and then it should crash to the ground, and hopefully it'll get you a couple of kills when the people don't jump out. Moving on to the main battle tank, there are different points at which you can hit the tank, obviously like an RPG, so let's talk about those. So from the front, you're going to get a 10% damage hit, but then if it's angled, then you're only going to get 8. From the side, you'll get 18, but angled again is only 8%. And if you hit it from the rear, like any normal tank or RPG, you're going to get a uh, hell of a lot more damage. So the rear, you're going to get a 28% damage hit. Or if it's angles, you'll only get 12, but that's still more than what you uh, would normally get with any other angled shot on the front or side. Just a quick note, apparently you hear a unique explosion when you kill a tank with a C4 crossbow, so that's pretty interesting. When you're aiming at a, a jeep, for example, you will get 41% damage plus a 25% damage to anybody who is uh, riding in the jeep at the time. So any of the new vehicles that are on the aftermath maps, you've got the Phoenix, the Barsuk and the Rhino, you'll do 41% damage when you hit them with the explosive bolt and 25% damage to anyone who's sitting inside it. Jets are also included, um, just like any other vehicle would be, and they take the same amount of damage as a heli. They take 91% damage with one direct hit, and um, that means you'll instantly disable the vehicle, and hopefully you'll get a couple of kills out of it when it plummets to the ground. And then finally we've got Amtraks and uh, IVFs to talk about, and the front size and rear of the Amtrak you get 21, and if it's angled then you only get 12, and for IVS the front sides and rear is 25% and then angle hits are 15%.
Okay, so moving on to the balance bolt now. At point blank range, you'll get a headshot. It'll do 100% damage. But at point blank range, if it's a body shot, it's only 80% damage. So that differentiates it from the normal bolt, which gives you 100% damage at close range. At a 70 meter range, your headshot will give you 100% damage, like a headshot should do. And at 70 meter range, a body shot will do 56% damage. And then at 70 meter range, the balance bolt doesn't have any drop whatsoever. So that's again, differentiates it from the normal bolt. And um, that makes it really good for sniping and anything and it longer range that you don't want to be using the normal bolt for. And finally, we'll just quickly cover the scan bolt, which is probably the least amazing of all the bolts, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, it's a single scan when you fire one of the bolts, and it has a radius of 12 meters and will last for around 8 seconds. Um, if you hit the target with an arrow, it also spots that that person for the whole 8 seconds. But if you continue to spot the people in the vicinity of where the arrow landed, they will stay spotted after the arrow stops emitting a signal. Um, it's not especially great against infantry, it's not really supposed to be used as a weapon. Uh, headshot will only do 24% damage at all ranges, so like point blank and like let's say 100 meters you'll still only get 24% damage. And if you hit it with, in the body then it's only 10% damage at all ranges. Alright guys, that pretty much covers the crossbow uh, in terms of damage and stuff like that, so let's just quickly talk about how awesome it is. It's fucking awesome. Um, it's a really good weapon to use if you're just wanting to have a little bit of a play around and it's such a good feeling when you get kills with it because it's like it's silent and it's kind of like a deadly feeling so it's pretty awesome. So I can't wait for it to come out on PC tomorrow along with the Aftermath DLC so I'm going to be switching back to PS, uh, PC for a while and bringing you some PC gameplay and probably 1080p and stuff like that. I uh, hope you'll be interested. Um, I'll always stick to PS3 as well because a lot of you guys subscribe to me from PS3 so I'll still stick around on there as well because I actually really enjoy playing with you guys. But um, yeah, I've been Westy. I hope you enjoyed my re review of the new Expo for Battlefield 3 and I will see you in the next video.